So we now have six coins open. Let's take a look. This one was a slow Muna, which we have been seeing for a while. And the last thing I told on the previous stream, the first thing is that the only price movement it had was when it launched. And then ever since for days, it has done pretty much nothing. More or less, it was moving a little bit, but it wasn't really making any on profits or losses. So really, if Apeton at this point, which was high as well, at like 30k dollars in market cap, what you would be doing is freezing your funds uh, for very little risk, because the most you could have gotten here is 2x. But as you can see here, things went actually south, but it wasn't an ape anyway, because coins which do nothing, even though there was a slow moon, actually are not great apes. The coin should have a nice bullish pattern, and this clearly doesn't look bullish, it didn't look. So I'm glad we did not take this coin seriously. And volume was downtrending ever since. So there's a clear pat pattern, clear movement. So you could have foreseen that this coin is going south, that's for sure, just from the volume. But I'm not sure what happened here, but this looks deadly. Uh, there was a CTO, so the developer actually ran in this first stage as it seems. But yeah, I've already analyzed this coin before, so I'm actually going to close it. But this is like an example of a slow mooner going south. But you should never even ape into slow mooners, which do nothing in the first place, or are high in the market cap. So after 20, 25k at most, uh, slow mooners, you got to wait for dips. Because then you risk too much for too little reward. But I'm going to close this particular coin. And this one is almost an identical example, which I was actually considering to ape into, and we reviewed it 24 hours ago during our previous stream. But I said the exact same thing about this particular coin, that yes, it's a slow Muna, and yes, the developer is holding, he can be trusted, he is transparent, and that is all great. And there is some sort of a community, through this Telegram group with people, however, uh, one thing that is missing is price action because coin has been doing nothing for like a few days one day or two days has been doing nothing quite literally freezing your funds uh, volume looks actually very very stable more or less always there but just for that reason i would not ape because people as you know market is psychological and people if they see no price action they're going to sell they're going to get tired they're going to lo lose, the f uh, lose the faith in the coin and if they don't see profits they're just going to take their money out because the money has been freezed for the people who hold this token uh, which in my opinion is a big issue so a slow moon I should slow moon and not slowly consolidate because consolidation does mean a downtrend in most cases and it doesn't have too much volume. Uh, it does just have those bumpy transactions, but not much real volume. But we'll keep it open, we'll take a look what it does, because it's still interesting. If it happens to have more volume, if it goes to 15k, something finally starts cooking and happening, then we can re-examine the coin, and I potentially will ape into this coin. But first, you need to see some sort of a change in price action, in volume, or in the community, maybe, bigger community. But this coin as well was a slow moon for a very, very long time. I'm actually not sure why I can see only two days of history, because this coin actually is like two weeks old. I'm not sure if they relaunched, which you can check by clicking on the profile of the, of the developer, and it's not a relaunch. So there must have been another token with the same name, which I'm actually going to check. Uh, Stuff Harvey. Because I have seen this coin before for like one week and it was really low in market cap. Uh, quite literally it was there. You can see many of them here, uh, which is an issue by the way because you need to tape into the right one. And copycats basically want to bait people in, so that is not great. And this one clearly was a copycat but it pumped to 30k, so most likely it was a rock pool. But yeah, I'm not sure if this is the same coin or a different one. But this as well, as you can see from the chart, was slow moving for quite a bit. And then most likely the volume kicked into this coin. As you can see from here towards the end, you can now see massive volume candles. 
and the coin actually almost hit radium. Nice distribution, nice thread section I guess, but we're not going to dive deeper into this because it's too late to ape in. But we are going to keep it open just in case something happens. This coin we opened and it has a very weird chart. I'm pretty sure it must be glitching because it does not look real. I'm going to take a look at the volume as well. Uh, looks very weird. Very, very weird. And coins with weird charts I do not really ape into because it sketches me out, you know. It might be a glitch, but it might be some sort of unorganic coin. That, of course, you have to figure out before you ape. Um, you can see lots of volume here, though. So in that sense, it does look legitimate. People talking the threads and the more the better, of course. I'm going to take a look at the website. And the meme, like about Jeets, pretty, pretty good, I would say. Um, not going to read this, I think. You can see the steps here, how you can buy, but yeah, nothing really special about this website, like an average website. And welcome everyone if you are new, happy to have you here and make sure you subscribe with notifications on because we are streaming literally every single day, literally every single day. 130 members, that is a lot and 50 voice chat participants is really nice. Usually my minimum is 15 to 20 and at least 50 is considered like the top level, uh, above 50 is like uh, the best you can pretty much have a very active community and you want the community to be active of course because the coins community is the key and I think those are the developers aren't they so that might be good as well if they are showing themselves on camera we actually might join the video chat if there is something interesting going on just for a second nobody would catch me saying that I swear well, he does have Dex banner ready, you know what I mean? So everybody has yeah, Dex banner like, ready. Fucking... Dex banner <laughs> ready in a <the> rug. <laughs> yeah, nothing much going on. We're not we're not going to listen uh, to the voice chat, but Dex banner is there. Uh, and no other announcements, which is unfortunate. But they should prepay the Dex screen, and that's for sure. And well, the only option to get interest coin is of course buying the dip. Because now you would kind of be buying the top, obviously, at 30k. The risk simply is not worth it. We'll keep it open, ju though, just to analyze. And I think that part of funds charts are glitching, as you can see, because coins have those weird charts, this one as well, which really messes you up, so I don't really like that. So you should fix that for sure. But this is a TikTok meme, as you can see. So this I opened because it makes sense why it pumped. Uh, obviously crypto is about finance and this was like number one finance meme on TikTok about a girl singing of her ideal man looking for a man in finance, trust fund, 6-5, blue eyes. This was, this was like the song. So yeah, like if you knew about this trend, about this meme, uh, you could have traded this coin for sure. That's for sure. It's high up now though, but it does still have volume, so if it goes down, could be an ape because everything in the media, on social media or in the newspapers, everything of that sort really does pump. And by the way guys, you can also prepare, um, this website isn't working, but you can also prepare for important days to come. So for example, this telegram isn't working either. So let's take a look at it here, if we can find the telegram and I can't find it. So yeah, I'm going to close the coin, but I do want to finish the point that if you can prepare for important days, you can be ahead of the trend, ahead of the narrative. For example, the next big narrative could be the, I think, 6th June about LGBTQ because it's certainly going to pump. It's certainly going to get lots of media attention. Companies, everyone is going to be doing those Pride Month discounts. This is going to be getting lots of media coverage. Obviously good for crypto because it's all about trends, all about the memes. And you can already buy into those coins in such narratives 
obviously not from part of fun, because here they will never live in the first place for long and they will die quickly. But radium coins at like 500k dollars in market cap or more established ones like at least multi-million, this could be very good preparation uh, for you to do if you have strong picks and if they don't die before uh, that 6th of June or whatever uh, is the right day uh, when the day comes. So you can prepare up front for trends as well, which you should do if you want to change the narrative. So just look for upcoming dates, upcoming uh, important uh, holidays, for example, and then trade the narrative uh, in that way. Now this coin, as you can see, it's a slow moon, but it was a very a shady one because it was launched on 11th of May, which was 10 days ago. And for about 9 days, it did literally nothing. And this is sort of a slow moon, which I wouldn't ape in. So first thing is it was pretty much at the baseline market cap, just at 7, 8k. And second thing, the price didn't really move for 9 days. So you're freezing your funds and you're risking a lot. And in that time, you can already make profits with other meme coins. Now volume kicked in, so it did go up because coins uh, go up if the developer holds. People can see the guy is transparent, the guy believes in the project. So in that sense, that's great that he held through. But he could have also sold because if the developer loses faith, which could have happened in nine days, uh, obviously it would have uh, gone south. Dex is prepaid now, I saw it just now. So we can actually take a look at this coin because the life came back now and the market cap is not too high up. It's at the right at the spot where above 25k it's too late. But now you can still kind of vape if the coin is good. And I do like those pictures, but they are most likely AI. And AI means low effort. That is the issue here. But they do look high quality, that is nice. You can shuffle here, doesn't work, uh, info interest prices. So the website does look kind of good in terms of it look, its, its look. So there is some sort of a description. Um, this say I made as well, I think. But this website does look great other than those AI pictures. Uh, very nice. Looks better than average, that's for sure. So we're going to join the Telegram and take a look how big is the community, are they bullish, are they bearish, since that's very, very important. 100 members, but the voice chat only has two people, which makes sense because it's a slow mooner. So first waves usually have lots of people in the voice chat, but slow mooners uh, oftentimes don't. Because I've been, you know, this coin has been live for, for literally like 10 days. And obviously the voice chat is not going to happen 24-7. But yeah, Dex screen is prepaid. It's a sign I always look for. And this coin does look attractive in my opinion. I do like it because there are members, even though not active. The website looks great. And the developer was holding. And that's the main thing a developer should do. So as long as the developer holds, like his task is done. That's like the main thing he has to do. Just don't sell because 99% of projects die because the developer just sells because he might not even be a ruggy. He might just uh, he might just have lost faith. So that as well, uh, if developer holds, that is nice.